Spring on the boat is full of surprises. The weather changes drastically and every day, if not every few hours, we get sunshine, rain, strong wind or even hail. Wow, this is crazy! It's snowing! Oh my gosh, this is the worst hail I've seen <laughs> in years. What the hell is happening with the weather? This is just absolute insanity. This field is gonna look white in a minute. We've just bought some briquettes. Um, we met a guy on a pilot the other week and he was like, oh, do you guys have a fire? I went, yeah. He said, do you use coal? I went, yeah. He said, do you want to not use coal? I went, yeah. He, he's a carpenter and he's got uh, loads of off cuttings. He kind of takes all the sawdust, compresses them down into little briquettes. And apparently they're a substitute for coal. Not tried them yet, we just picked them up. Very cheap. Three bags, 15 kg each, I think. 25 quid. So what's that, 45 kg for 25 quid? And he said, yeah, but they can burn for hours. Oh, sorry, the first burn uh, will burn for a bit quicker, but once you've got the ash and the heat built up, the second load in, turn all the vents down, it lasts for hours apparently. So we're gonna give them a try so uh, you don't have to. Life is slow in a narrow boat. The spring is wet and cold this year, and there isn't much to do outside. We continue making fires to keep warm and waiting for better weather. After months spent indoors, we're dreaming of lunches outside, having friends over when we can take Alba for a pleasant cruise and perhaps open the barbecue season. Guys, I never do this, but I have just sat down to edit uh, this vlog and I realized there is a big problem for the second half of the episode. About a month ago, I've uh, decided to fix a weird noise that was coming from the microphone, which should not be happening. It's a mic, it should be silent. There was some dangling sound, so I sent it out to, for repairs. It took a while and finally they sent it back and I was so happy uh, to receive it that I immediately put it back on the camera and I just didn't check the settings. The audio in the second part of the vlog is going to be blown out. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and fix it as much as I can, but it's just not going to be perfect. If you can't take it, just switch it off. I totally understand, but I have filmed 
quite a bit so I decided to leave it out there if it's too bad that's fine <laughs> I thought I'll explain myself Quicker. Quicker. Our boat neighbour Brian got stuck next to us while the river was on high. So this time we're placing a bigger order of briquettes together. But definitely this sort of time of year in autumn, they're just great to chuck on and they chuck out a lot more heat than coal. Yeah, and it, it, you can sort of get it going quite quick. Oh yeah, yeah. Can't. it's a exactly. lot easier. Yeah, you don't need kindling, um, to kind of firelight. Firelight. Yeah. I don't know. Managed to get them into a little clear earlier, so. Oh, I see. I did it in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought somebody outside. <laughs> So, how's it going? Well, we haven't checked the diesel in at least a month. We haven't been looking at it at all because we haven't been cruising and we haven't been able to get fuel. We've kind of been ignoring it. But yeah, we haven't checked in ages. So we're going to see how much diesel we've got. In between a quarter and a third, I'd say, yeah. We don't know what shape our tank is, but we know the top's at this point. Yeah, we have no idea what shape the tank is. It could be just a V, so we could... I think we're good. <clears throat> we have to get to, to we can, somewhere. We can now drive to the water point. Yeah. So tonight we're going to go and visit our friends, Zoe and Yellow. Um, some of you have been asking how they are, and so today we're going to visit them. We haven't seen them for a while. And while we're there, we're also going to... Have a look how our Christmas, Christmas tree is doing. doing. <clears throat> yep. Sid, the Christmas tree. Yeah, hopefully is like another three foot taller and hopefully no one's got any tree bias and has cut a Christmas tree out of a beautiful park. It's not good. You're not going to be able to see it soon. Just uh, give, give it a bit more space for light. Every opportunity. That looks good. Gardening. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on? Are you guys hungry? going for a run this morning it's been really challenging to be honest to run through the winter my goal was to continue running I kind of restarted running in April last year and I wanted to make sure that I stayed consistent even if I had a week off or something like that it didn't affect my overall fitness um, I didn't have to start from scratch or anything like that I did it I did manage to have to run for an entire year for 12 months and it was very challenging in winter one of the reasons is well there's a couple of reasons first is because I prefer to run in the mornings and the mornings are the coldest time in the boat um, obviously we wake up and then we uh, make the fire so it takes a while for the boat to warm up so going out from a coldish boat into into a cold is mentally very challenging and also since we moved from Henley to Pangbourne there is no uh, pavement um, so there's been a lot of mud um, so also running through wet grass and mud is also another challenge it's not been easy but i did it and i'm really glad because now i can when it's all getting lighter and warmer and brighter and drier i can continue running rather than starting from scratch so i feel good about that and um yeah i'm going out today
Before I start work, I'm going to need to tidy up. Um, it's been a couple of days since the last tidy up and because obviously narrow boat is a very small space, things get a bit messy even if we try really hard. I'm on my last apple, so I'm going to need to go to the shop after this. Let's try this. It's not bad. I've run out of almost everything, so I do need to go to the shop. And I don't know if you can hear the sound of a fan on the stove. The stove is going really hot, so the fan is working well. However, we have dropped it a few times. We have tried to bend it bend the blades in the way that it would stop uh, making the noise but we've we've not been successful so basically we need a new fan but it's almost the end of the winter so we're not gonna get one for now so we've been using these little briquettes um, for the past few weeks and yeah they're very hot they get very hot quickly um, you don't need kindling at all, which is quite a bit of saving because kindling now is like eight pounds per tiny, tiny bag. We've been using them and they're great. It's not that cold at the moment, so we only need the fire for about two to three hours in the morning and probably a couple of hours in the evening. And we don't have it overnight. So for this kind of season, I think they're perfect. The best way to use them we found is to have a little bit of coal, like a few coal bits with it because they do burn within about an hour. So there is a continuous uh, upkeep for the fire. And if you miss 10, 15 minutes, it might cool down a bit and you're going to have to start it from scratch. Just quite time consuming. So having a little bit of hot coals in the stove really kind of saves the day. I'm not sure how this would work in winter. There's quite a bit of work uh, but they're very hot and they make um, the boat quite hot quickly. So for now we really love it and especially as we don't use any coal or use like a very tiny amount. Plus they're produced literally in the next village. How it will be in the winter is a different question but for now they work really well. I've just started doing laundry and I've run out of water. I know that because the water pump starts to make this odd noise that I know the water's gone. So I am gonna go and get some using the barrel, but because the barrel is a hundred liters container, I can't wheel it by myself because of the weight and the way kind of the whole container sits on top and there's a bit of a micro hill so i'm only gonna fill up um halfway and go get water by myself i haven't done that before but i reckon halfway 50 liters 50 kilos i should be able to manage
And that's how we get water at the moment. This setup has been a lifesaver over winter, but we're counting days until we start moving again and get back to our regular fill-ups. Thank you all so much for watching if you made it this far. A huge thank you to our patrons for supporting these videos. If you've been watching for a while, consider joining our Patreon family. In exchange, we have bonus content for you, vlogs that haven't been published on here, Zoom card chaps, freebies and lots of other stuff. So go and check it out. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.